There is a brand new Halloween themed cosmetics pack in the Hunter Call of the Wild that you can get completely free. All you have to do is have an Apex Connect account, which by the way is free to make if you don't have one, and log into the game before November 6th. There's some pretty cool stuff in here, I actually went ahead and customized this tent. Now we are on Medved, so it's going to be much easier to see from the inside. We have a ghost spray here, almost like a galaxy sort of vibe with this one. That is in the Halloween pack as well. And I did go ahead and customize four guns that we can take a look at. This is by far my favorite one. There's a jack-o'-lantern spray, and then this Halloween pumpkin orange paint. It just works perfectly with the 44. I might keep this for a while. We could go through everything. I'll just show the four guns. We have almost all the different options across them. And I think there's a rusted metal kind of fitting that Halloween vibe as well. This is going to be, I think it's in the camo. We have the Halloween woodland camo and then just the dark violet purple spray from the Halloween pack as well. On the 22250, I think this is going to be a fan favorite. It's a spider camo. I think that could look really cool, by the way, on ground blinds and tents and things like that. And then finally, it doesn't show as well. I wanted to use that purple paint. I think we're actually going to put the skull camo on both. Pretty neat little skull vibe for Halloween as well. So pretty cool stuff in this pack. Again, all you have to do is have that Apex Connect account and log into the game before November 6th. We're going to take these things for a hunt here on Medved Taiga. I'm not going to lie. I had a dream that I shot a great one moose on Medved. I don't really expect anything, but we're here. We might as well go see if there's anything waiting on us here on this map. And you know, not a bad start. A couple of big fours out here. Definitely the perfect kind of thing as well to take with my favorite of the customized guns for today, the 44 lever action. So we're going to try to get into around maybe 200 for this guy. We're at actually 180 already. So I think we can just go ahead and try to drop that into the heart. Hopefully he'll just stand there for just a moment. Let us catch our breath. That's going to take him down. I think this guy will have heard that. Went too attentive, but definitely not going to spook. And we'll even scoot into more like 150 on this one. 160 should be fine. We'll go ahead and get this lined up. Two for two on our Halloween 44 heart shots. I just think this looks so darn cool. I wish we could see the lever a little bit more. It's kind of hidden in almost any angle when we use this, but just a really cool design. I think as far as cosmetics go and maybe seasonal themed cosmetics, Halloween has to be the one that people would rock throughout the year. And I think they delivered on what they've put out there for us to use. But two big moose down, and by the way, we're not going to do nothing but hunt or grind for moose. We'll go and look for some other stuff and make use of these other weapons as well. 236 on that one, and I think the estimate for our other one probably has him scoring a little higher. And actually, while we have the chance, let's use our spider camo gun a little bit. 22250 on a musk deer. I think generally speaking, that's just not something I've actually done just yet. Did that get a lung though? That one sure did. And I think we needed it. I want to say we shot maybe too high. And way too far forward. Almost got a perfect neck shot drop there. That wolf didn't sound terribly far away. Hopefully they come and find us. And now three kills. All just this one leg. This guy was 237. Heart and liver at that 44 round is just absurd. Right between the lungs, I got the liver and of course the heart there that helped to bring that down. So we've pretty well hopped around most of the map and no sign of any great one moose just waiting on us. So maybe not a dream that was predicting the future, but it is a good excuse to get out here on Medved, a map that we haven't been on much and have a little fun. And I mean, who knows? Shoot a couple of decent sized bull moose. Maybe that ends up somewhere. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If and when we go back to the moose grind, semi full time, whatever that may mean, I really might bring this 44. That ability to get a hard shot at almost any angle, it can save so much tracking time. This thing, not only does it now look really cool, it is so absurdly powerful. And I also noticed, as I think we have another gold here at 210, especially in the sun, that Halloween woodland camo, that really is bright and vibrant. I like it. So, decided to make it reindeer drink time and kind of see what we could find for them. And this has been one of the best spots we have on our entire map. It's this little lake up here, kind of north of the big lake. Whole bunch of them all grouped up here, but I don't even know if there's a four. 
all pretty low level stuff. So I think we'll try to get the two level threes that are side by side there. And I actually don't even know how quickly reindeer flee now. Not super quick to where we can get both of those, no problem. And we probably should kind of switch up our loadout a little bit, otherwise we're only going to use this. What I did was just grab the loadout I made for the best loadout for 2023 video back earlier in the year, and then swap the 7 mil for the 44. So maybe we'll grab some other stuff just to kind of make the most of it, customize them in different ways, and continue hunting out here. But for now, the 44 keeps on doing what it does. Lung, liver, and stomach on that frontal shot. 247 scoring silver for that. And then double lung, liver on the broadside one. 243, basically the exact same size. So yeah, we'll go and switch stuff up. Still going to bring the 44 with us. But maybe we can have some other kind of bigger calibers. We do have a lynx out there, but probably don't want to go too heavy on the hunting pressure. That is looking a little bit better. 260 to 339 for that one. And that guy even better, although the estimate only by one. 261 to 340. Now, I did kind of switch things up. We actually have the Caplock muzzleloader. I wanted to show you that rusty metal, and I think for that, we'll probably try to get this guy. The muzzleloader is pretty powerful in its own right, so at that angle, we can drop him. I think that one might make gold. I forget what gold is for them, but I want to say it's in that 311 area. But you can actually see with this rusted metal as we reload this, and also the ghost on the end of the ramrod there, nice little touch. I think, you know, for something like maybe Grank and Shotgun or wanting to make another weapon almost match it, that rusty metal can work for that too. But maybe our first Gold Ranger it is at 339. His max estimate was 340. Double lunged him with that cap lock. Not too bad. Then the other gun I grabbed, if we can cycle through here, is the 30-06. Just wanted to use that kind of I don't even know what they called it. The one that I called a cosmic camo and then I have the pumpkin orange on the iron sights. And then perhaps for this guy, we can try to go ahead and make use of that. I just saw, oh, it's the lynx that's causing that. There's a lynx walking around out there. Sent a bunch of reindeer running. That's for the one that we shot, he didn't make it all that far. And this guy went into the 400s on the estimate, 384 for him. I think I've seen level fives with this rack. Double lung again there out of the 30 odd six. Get to kind of see some of the, the different customization options on the different weapons. So finally, we have the kind of opportunity I've been waiting on. Got some aggressive wolves, and we'll maybe try to go through a couple of the guns that we have. Gonna start with the 44 just to maybe get some of these to back off a little bit. That guy's dead already. One shot from the muzzle loader. And then we'll go to the 30 odd six. Couple of females walking in here. Probably are gonna want to sidestep that. Not gonna lie, I didn't spot what that was before we went for that shot. Luckily, it was just a female because we were close to getting it in the skull. Is there anything that we have not already hit? That's that six. Okay, that's that's not as good. I think we're gonna be fine now because that one's. That was the one that we hit with the 44. That'll take care of that. I think we got them all. Nothing big in there, unfortunately. We did, when we were exclusively grinding moose on Medved, get a lot of wolves and therefore a lot of respawns, and ultimately we had at least one diamond from all that. Was hoping maybe there might be another one here, but not in this pack. It looked like only one gold, actually. So, for what I think is going to be the last kill of this video... We've got a pretty nice musket here, 171 to 225, and for that, we have the 22H. Now, from memory, this thing is not good on musket, at least when it came out. A lot of people tried to take musket with it, potential diamonds and things like that, and just it wasn't getting the job done. So I'm hoping we can punch through to a lung here. That angle is about as bad as I could hope for. I almost want to try a heart shot. And that worked. So... I was thinking that the 22H had received a buff after that whole event went down where people were losing potential diamonds and stuff because of that, and clearly it has, and it looks pretty nice with that skull camo, so I think we did get to see all of the different customization options today, including even that rusty metal, 177 for that by the way, heart and double lung, yeah that's no problem on a musty anymore, probably should have already known that, but now we do know. 
And yeah, I just wanted to go for a quick little hunt here. Like I said, I had that random dream, so I figured Medved, why not? Ends up being a good map with the, the brightness and lighting and everything to see all the different customization options. And between moose, reindeer, musk deer, lynx, everything in between, lots of things to go after and just use our weapons on in this kind of fashion. So like I said, be sure to log into the Hunter Call of the Wild with your Apex Connect account before November 6th to get that free cosmetics pack. Pretty cool stuff in there. Definitely don't want to miss out on that. And on that note, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.